Hey guys, welcome back. Like I mentioned on my last video, I was gonna give you guys a full review and installation on this beautiful billet pulley system from Wagner. It will be going on to this badass LT4 supercharged motor. One of the things that I want you guys to keep in mind is that once you remove the original pulley, in order to install the new one in, you have to remove the front snout from the supercharger. If you don't do that, you run the risk of damaging the bearings inside. And how you actually remove the front snout, there's actually a really great video that I found on YouTube. I will put the link below in the description and where the guy goes into detail by detail on how to remove the front snout and supercharger from these engines. If you don't have a pressing machine, um, you could actually send the snout to Wagner. They'll press in the new pulley for you and send it right back to you. But other than that, guys, everything else is pretty much straightforward. Wagner does provide really great instructions on how to install their complete pulley system. So you shouldn't have any issues at all in installing their pulley system. But yeah, guys, enough with the talking and let's get to work and see how this comes out.
right guys the pulley system is officially installed the only thing i am missing is the crankshaft bolt which i did order a new one once i receive it i'll put both belts on but guys please comment below let me know what you guys think of this beautiful pulley system from wagner these are for the lt4 supercharged engines they do make pulley systems for all type of motors I will put the part number below in the description on this pulley system here. This is for a dry sump application, guys. This is not for a wet sump. This is for a dry sump application. I'll put the part number below on the description as well. The link that I mentioned to you guys earlier on how to remove the supercharger and the front snout on the supercharger. I'll put that link below in the description as well. But um, let me show you guys this motor here too. This one is up next. I got to finish putting the intake bolts fuel rails a couple of stuff and it should be should be done and ready to be installed on the 1967 camaro ss but yeah guys please comment below let me know what you guys think um any questions concerns feel free to comment below i'll answer it thank you guys so much i really appreciate all the love and support from you guys man i really do appreciate it but please hit that like button and subscribe thank you guys